Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm repping Morehouse because it's Black History Month. So, Team Morehouse. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna do a little video. I think I was just wearing my shirt. I don't think anything. Today I wanna do a little video regarding my Instagram purchases because you, we know these ads, like y'all know these influencers, they just keep us down the rabbit hole of buying stuff. They keep us wanting to get some things and I'm of no exception. So <laughs> I'm going to take you through three of my Instagram purchases. I've had them for a little while so I can give you like a good, cute little review um, to let you know whether or not they're worth it, whether or not they, I really like them. And then you can let me know the tea as well to see what else I should get what you thought about them. If you were interested in buying any of these things, you know, I can just give you some tea on them and we can just have a little girl talk. So yeah, if you're interested in this, then just keep on watching. So we're gonna start with the small stuff. So we're gonna start with my girl, Susie B. Her resistance bands. She's a fitness influencer, does workouts and all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, so she has a line, multiple lines of resistance bands. And they're all super cute. Actually, one of my friends told me about this and her brand because I had never really watched her workout videos or anything before, but she influenced me to <laughs> purchase these things. I believe she has an app too. So I'll link all of her information and all that below. And her resistance bands come in a few different kinds of weight. So she has a light one, like a medium heavy one. And then this one is like the ultra hardest resistance. It is definitely very well made. It is definitely very heavy duty. Now I will say I do Pilates and yoga and yoga sculpt and bar and stuff like that. So for some of the exercises, I would recommend this of course more than others because there's not a lot of slack to them. So I, they're good for obviously bridges. They're good for squat. I don't know, maybe not squats because it just doesn't like stretch that much so i would say i would only recommend these for certain types of exercises because you just don't have a lot of slack so i have not actually tried her light resistance bands so i can't really speak to those however if i wanted a little bit more flexibility in the exercises i would probably go light with her bands or try something more like resistance loops or something like that because this is so heavy duty that you can't really have a ton of like you can't even see my leg. You can't really have a ton of range of motion. So let actually let me put this on. So like if I'm in bar class, for example, or like trying to do donkey kicks and stuff, I can't like stretch my leg back that far, you know, because the resistance is so tight. The range of motion just isn't that great but they're good for bridges you can do squats but like you just cannot open your legs that wide so yeah the burn is very severe they definitely do what they're supposed to do let's say that okay but um yeah if you want a little bit more variety with this then i would say maybe go lighter or yeah maybe just try to go lighter and see but anyway overall i would say these are quite well made this resistance band was $22 and I will say the shipping was very fast. Even with like the pandemic delays, I think these are shipped by USPS Priority or USPS Air. So I ordered them at the end of the week and I think they were there on a Tuesday. So thank you, Susie. It was excellent how the shipping and like the, all that, the logistics, how all that stuff went. It, I had a very positive experience with that. And I would say they definitely do what they're supposed to do. It's very heavy duty and of course this is so cute. I had to get the Ariel Mermaid one. <laughs> so I'll link all this down below. I said all this, I'll link this down below. There's only one thing, girl, <laughs> duh. <laughs> okay, so the second, can you guess what this is? I mean, you, you'll be able to guess cause it's gonna be in the title. <laughs> but <laughs> Warby Parker. So I ordered some glasses from Warby Parker and actually I've been wanting these for quite some time and I'm actually surprised they still had this. And I have my contacts in, so, you know, this is probably not the safest thing to do. But, oh my God, aren't these the cutest freaking glasses in the world? These are the Ava model. And Warby Parker, if you don't know what they are, is like a glasses, affordable type of glasses line range. 
where you can per, put in your prescription from your eye doctor into like their website and um, order their glasses and they ship them to you. Uh, they also have an AI that on their website you can put a picture of your face in and like try on their glasses. They do have stores around the United States. So I actually physically tried these on in 2019. <laughs> actually, let me pop a picture in here because that would just be fun. And I was like, you know what? The next time I go get an eye exam, I'm going to get these glasses. And I did. Anyway, yeah, they're super cute. And from order to them actually arriving on my doorstep, I think it was about 10 days. Um, so the processing time definitely is a little bit longer, but that's just me being impatient, quite honestly. It wasn't that long. Um, and they do give you an accurate timing of how long it's going to take for your glasses to ship. So I ordered them um and then you know I got a shipping notification and they came probably in a day or two after that so um that was also quite positive all their glasses are super cute they're super funky very interesting and they're not like terribly expensive I would say on average they're in between 100 and maybe 150 dollars these have like an anti-scratch coating on them um you can also order blue light protection on these glasses these don't uh, cause I already have some blue light glasses. So I was like, I don't need to spend the extra money. I think it was maybe like $25 or something like that or $15, something like that extra. It wasn't like a terrible amount. And then you can order some accessories. So like different glass cases and things like that. But the actual package just came with some instructions or like a little pamphlet about the glasses. And then this case, which is actually quite nice. And then it comes with a little towel. Next time though, I would probably order some of the cleaner and all that, but you can also get that from Amazon, Walmart, Target. You can get it from anywhere. So really not that big of a deal. And it says, nice to see you on the inside. Super cute. <laughs> but no, these glasses are freaking adorable. I love them. Don't regret the purchase at all. The customer service and the processing and all that was pretty good as just like an average customer none of this stuff is sponsored i'm just you know having fun trying some stuff out and yeah they're adorable to me so thank you warby parker i would definitely order again oh my gosh and last but not least bays bays is all over the place child they be their internet marketing is just crazy their text marketing is crazy on instagram they are just crazy with the ads and stuff so I got the work tote and I was in the market for a good work bag. And I'm going to talk about this in a future video because I have some things to talk about when it comes to work life balance or work life harmony. But basically I needed a bag to put all my stuff in and zip it away from my mind for when I'm not working <laughs> because otherwise you just think about it all freaking day, right? So anyway, this bag is the most well freaking thought out bag I've ever had in my entire life. And I was a little bit worried because the bag is quite expensive and it's not real leather. I mean, I guess it's probably normal for like a big bag like this. It's $128. So actually I really don't think it's that terrible. Um, it's not the most affordable bag in the world because there are of course cheaper bags that you can get, but it's very sturdy. Like I was a little bit worried that the bag wouldn't have enough structure and the shape would be altered if that makes any sense but it is like pleasantly surprised me with the amount of structure that the bag has it's very very sturdy a lot more sturdy than what i thought that it was going to be i mean if your bag is really heavy like i don't i i feel like these straps maybe would start fraying and stuff but if I were to carry this outside of the house, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even carry them by these straps because I have two laptops. It has this big strap and then it has the freaking shoulder like what is this cushion? It has like look at the inside of this bag. It has a freaking padded laptop sleeve for a 15 inch laptop in the middle. And I fit both of my laptops in there. This is my Microsoft Surface Pro. And then I have my work laptop, which is an HP freaking clunker. On the inside in here, I don't know if you can see, on the inside in here, um, it's like a big space. I can fit my docking station in here, both laptop chargers. There is a document holder, this is it, that goes inside the bag and you can attach it by uh, these little buttons, like the silver buttons that you can click. And I put like my papers in there. There is a zip compartment here, can you see that? Yeah, a zip compartment in there. It's quite large, so you can fit lots of different things. 
I fit my YouTube, my, uh, not my YouTube, my phone tripod in here. So basically I needed a bag big enough to fit my work stuff, my YouTube stuff, and you know, a cosmetic bag or whatever. And honestly, it's perfection. It has a freaking key thing in here. So you can put your keys on it so that you don't freaking lose them when you're leaving the house. There's a freaking pencil holder. There's, I have two cell phones also for work. So there's these little pockets right in here where I can fit both of my phones. Like, I mean, literally she thought of everything. Thank you, Shay. I can fit a freaking, what is this? Notebook in here. Like I can fit a, what else do I have in here? This, I can fit a, um, this is a power bank. I can fit a power bank in here. I have a hard drive in here for YouTube. Like it literally is the perfect, <laughs> I feel like I'm such an ad right now, but it is a freaking perfect work bag. It is beautiful. I love the black crop texture. There are two pockets on either side where you can fit things in. And then my favorite part, because I love to travel, is I can slide it on the back of my carry-on bag. So you can unzip this, slide it under your bag. And they even thought, cause most bags, like they're missing something. Cause I was like, oh man, I wonder if you can zip up the bag. You can zip up the bag at the top. Like, are you freaking kidding me? So not only is it very sturdy, it can fit everything in it, it, it's just an amazing bag. Like I would pay $128 for this over and over and over again. And I think that they're finally back in stock. So I'll link it down below. This is the normal work tote. And uh, they have a mini work tote as well, but this one is perfect for me. And it fits everything that I, need, that I need to fit. And then look at the bottom. There are, if you set it on the floor, they're like the little razors on the bottom. So that the bag isn't scratched on the floor. I mean, like, come on now. Can you get any more perfect? So if you are in search of a work bag, this is it. Like, this is it, it's perfect. And then if you think that this may be too big or too much for you because you have one job, like most people, me, I'm trying to work two full-time jobs, um, maybe the mini one would be sufficient. So, especially if you have a smaller laptop and you don't have a docking station like I do and like, well, all that type of stuff. But so good, like, actually, let me try it on for you. I thought that it was gonna to be too big because I'm quite a petite girl. Move this out, Otherwise. But it's definitely not too big. And actually, I think this is supposed to go this way because the back pocket. But yeah, so good. It's very chic as well. And they have it in a um, beige color. However, I think the beige color is sold out right now and it's supposed to restock in like March. Uh, so if you, you know, want a different color, then put your name up and they'll notify you when the color comes back in stock. But my God, the bag is amazing. It's perfect. It has some support for the shoulder. It has a top strap and you can slide it on your carry on. Like, come on now. I mean, she did the doggone thing with this bag. And like I said, I would buy it all over again. So, so this is volume one of my influence Instagram purchases, my first three, my first version. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any of these and you love them, let me know. If you were interested in getting it, are you gonna get it now? Let a girl know. But anyway, so I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye. Hello.